Let's have some beer. Who? What? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got the latest in the interesting line of sour beers from Collective Arts Brewing out of Hamilton, Ontario. This is a sour beer with blackberry, cherry, lemon, and vanilla coming in at 5.1% ABV. And, uh, yeah, this was gifted slash traded at that fantastic Royal Winter Fair Beer Fest that I was at with Highlander Brewing. And um, I've had it for maybe a month now or so. And I've been, I don't know why, I don't know why I've been holding off on it. It's been like, it's, Collective Arts has made some freaking sensational sour beers even IPAs, and then some that just kind of fall a little flat. And the label on this, it's so simple and basic, but at the same time, the colors and stuff just work so nicely. Like, I don't want to be disappointed. So I was kind of scared. Stuff. This is not proper. It's supposed to be like that. Jesus. Let's crack it open. And let's see. What we've got. Blackberries are my favorite berry. So I'm really hoping that this is okay. That looks that looks kind of promising. Let's give her some at least a bit of aggression. There we go. There we go. There we go. Make it look pretty. Pretty. Okay. I don't know what to say right now. I actually clean this glass and it's still like looking like an unclean glass. I'm mildly pissed off by that. Anyway, yeah, it's crystal clear. Maybe the tiniest bit of haze, but it's just like this ruby, ruby red color. It looks amazing. And a really, really pronounced kind of snap, crackle, pop, fizzy sound. I'm getting cherry and vanilla off that smell for sure. It's funny because I recently had that common good sour beer that was just a cherry vanilla, I think, sour. Berliner Weiss. And this smells very similar. I'm not getting blackberry on the aroma, but... Blackberry doesn't have generally a really pronounced smell, so... Let's give her a shot. Oh, yeah. That's got a really nice sour kick to it. I love that. And just the flavors meld together. Like, even, I got the, like a little bit of that lemon flavor in there, even. It's all there. This is one of the best beers I've had by Collective Arts in a while. Uh, let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and cheers to whoever was running the the booth at Collective Arts at that fest. I don't know who you were, but Beard love you. Mm. Oh, that is so delightful. Yeah, a whole lot of yes on that. We have eight ingredients on a collective arts beer. That's uncommon. Water, barley malt, wheat malt, oat flakes, blackberry puree, cherry puree, lactose, lemon zest, vanilla, hops, and yeast. Contains wheat and barley and oats. I didn't realize lactose is in there. Weird. And November 5th, 2019, so... Was it the 4th of December? Almost one month old. Basically one month old. Exactly at this point. Is delightful. Mm. I 
that's one of the tastier sours I've had in a in, in while. Just not just collective arts, but overall. I feel like though I didn't look this up. I, I didn't buy it, so it's not you know something that I can gripe about. But I kind of can have issues if it, it, is this in the LCBO? Is my first question. Uh, collective. That's how you spell it. Type properly, properly. Speak properly. Collective, I don't know, but Blackberry. Milkshake sour. Is that it? Yeah, Milk, Blackberry cherry milkshake sour. Is that what they're calling it? It is. Four seventy-five a can. <clears throat> That's that's pretty goddamn expensive for a 5.1% ABV beer. And the fact you're using like just puree, like it's not actual berries or cherries you're putting into it, like I'm sure you're sourcing that for a pretty good price. You are a huge international brewery. Like, my buddy Craig over in the UK is able to get stuff from you. So, like, you did... I understand you need to make profits, but you don't need to make profits by kind of raping your consumers. I'm going to go off on some kind of pissed off tangent or something. And I've been in almost nine minutes. Way too long. Break time. It's really, really, really good. But for four seventy-five a can, I don't see myself buying anymore if it comes here to the LCBO. Like, there are other sour beers that I could go buy some blackberry juice or some kind of cherry juice or some kind of other juice and pour the beer, add a little bit, and kind of get a, the same-ish result for a lot less per can. So that's my my only real gripe, but it's a big gripe. CollectiveArtsBrewing.com. We'll bring it to, that's what it is, right? Yeah, dot .com. We'll bring it to CollectiveArtsBrewing.com. God damn it. Drink number last. Collective Arts Brewing. Sour beer, blackberry, cherry. It was a blackberry, cherry, something, and vanilla. Lemon and vanilla. There we go. Yeah. Eight and a half. I'd give it nine and a half, but the, the price point is enough in my mind. And I'm, I'm knocking it down a full mark for that. that that's... That's outrageously pricey for a can of beer. If you've had it, let me know in the comments down below because, you know, that's where I'm going to end this thing. Smash thumbs up if you liked it, etc., etc., etc. Subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Back something like this pretty soon. Peace out. I don't even know what to say. I'm just like. <sighs> Coming in at 5.1% ABV. Out of ham, 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 